Bro, I'm back on this shit, bro. I don't think about this shit, right? You got niggas that fuck transsexuals that's in the street, in the industry, that's doing their thing, that's all this and all that. You got niggas that's already riding. Niggas wearing skinny jeans, setting different dress and, uh, 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 you know, uh, fashion uh, statements and, uh, you know, trends and all this shit right here, right? But, bro, when you really think about it, bro, what if this nigga Terrence Gangster Williams really just started a trend? Like, what if other niggas start doing that shit some type of way? You know, getting the same immunity like that and getting out of prison, bro. I'm talking about niggas that's been down from the 90s, the 80s, and all that shit right there. Niggas that got 20 years in. What if niggas start doing that shit, bro? Like, on some real shit. Like, what if this nigga just set a trend for niggas that's been down for 20 years plus? This shit crazy, bro. This shit crazy. I don't know the facts, don't know the detail like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know from different angles when you look at the shit, like, you could be mad that he snitched and, you know, didn't respect the code and some of the laws that he formed in his circle or for his section of a lot of niggas that looked up to him. So, you know what I mean? You can, you can be upset about that. But if this nigga just really beat the system by doing that shit right there. I ain't even look at it at first, like, that he beat the system. I just looked at the shit as baby common sense. Like, shit, I been down this long. Bitch, I'm finna get out. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, shit, on some real shit, I'm finna get out. But, like, I just heard another video and my second take on this shit was like, damn, you know what? What if this nigga really just set a trend for that shit? What if this nigga really just made that shit you know, a thing that these niggas that's been down for years can do. A and Charleston White just said that shit too. He was probably making a joke, but he was like, I know I got at least three murders I could tell on about, you know what I'm saying? So that shit, <laughs> it made sense. This nigga been down since nice, Bro, it made sense, bro. These niggas that's been gone 20, 30 years, bro, decide to talk on shit that happened and really don't get nobody locked up because these niggas are already dead and they can get out. This nigga just set a motherfucking trend and a lot of niggas ain't gonna like that shit. But a lot of niggas gonna be able to walk if he really just, you know, made it that easy. Damn. This shit crazy, bro. But you know, I mean, if you don't want to get put in certain situations, stay your ass out of shit. If you gonna be a part of that shit, Rock with that shit, wear that shit, live that shit, die by that shit, you feel me? You know, you rocking with Cool Lawbreaker Media. I just was checking in, gave y'all my little quick thought on that. Damn, bro.